Do you know what I like to do after I spend the night with zombie collector and stove collector? <laughs> I like to look at some baseball cards. Had a lot of fun going live last night with those guys. We had a good discussion. You know, one of the things we uh, talked about was uh, like people that go around disliking videos and some of the rude comments you get and so forth. <laughs> and it's funny, um, you know, I, I don't do anything controversial, but the one thing that I always get comments on, many, time, many times rude comments, many times people just questioning, is uh, when I use the glove. And, I mean, come on, guys. This is a joke. This is tongue-in-cheek. Because, obviously, you don't need a glove um, to show cards. But I started using it when I'd show an extra special card just to add a little pizzazz. And then I, I also pick my my thumbs I have a bad habit and when I would show cards you know close up that it would zoom in on that thumb and it looked awful and I was embarrassed so I started putting a glove on to cover it up and so it's it's a joke man I use this um, sometimes to clean up some of the chrome cards or holders um, because this is a jeweler's glove and it's real soft and it won't damage anything uh, just so you know but come on, man, it's a joke. You got to have a little a little humor in life. Anyway, that being said, I have some great cards to show. Now, any of you who have been in the industry for a while, you know um, Lionel Carter. You know, one of the hobby pioneers. And so they sold off his collection and, you know, you can buy it now. And I got a Lionel Carter card, and it's my first one, and I'm super glad to add it to my collection. And it's a you know a rarer card, a rarer set, and that's from the Sport Thrills set, and it features Johnny Vandermeer, um, you know, for his accomplishment of pitching back-to-back -back no hitters. So I am super thrilled <laughs> to add this to my collection. I do have a number of these cards. I did not have this one. And it's extra special that it comes from the Lionel Carter collection. And uh, I'm willing to put a few bucks down if there's going to be guys jumping on eBay right now looking for some Lionel Carter cards. <laughs> it's pretty cool to get, uh, you know, a card from a famous collection. You know, I was super thrilled to get my Black Swamp find card. And, um, you know, I have a lot of these cards. been working on this set. There were... Um, three big cards I needed from this set, and it's the 34 to 36 Diamond Star set. I just love it. Art Deco set. I needed the Lefty Grove, the Hank Greenberg, and the Jimmy Fox. And now I just need the Hank Greenberg and the Jimmy Fox. I got the uh, Lefty Grove. And it's a great card, one of the great pitchers of all time. And these aren't that easy to find. And man, I was thrilled to find this. Um, I guess they issued these from 1909 to 1911. And they um, look like the T205s, but they're silks that were issued with tobacco. And this is a three-finger brown. And if you're newer to card collecting... Uh, I, I just want to point this out. I, I would never use these um, for cards like we did in the old days. They're beautiful. They, they're, is, they present beautifully, you know, and uh, the cards look great in them. But the normal cardboard cards, you know, you can damage uh, and you could press them down. So if you ever have them graded, you could damage the card. Plus, they're open on the uh, here. So, you know, moisture, whatever could get in. But for things like silks or the real thin cards or even stickers, I will use these. And I've taken, you know, I've taken cards and, and silks uh, out of here that have been in for years and they're just in perfect condition. I mean, they do preserve them nicely, but it just presents really well with these silks. So I do use these. Beautiful example. You know, it's a little, little torn down there, but um, just really cool. I appeal to me. 
And another rare card, and this is another one not in top condition, but man, these cards are tough. And I got this for next to nothing. Um, and it's from the 59 Bazooka set. And these cards took up the whole side of the Bazooka box. And, you know, they're rare. They're the rarest Bazooka cards. And I got this cool Roy McMillan. It's a little crudely cut, but for paying so little for it, you know, in top condition, these would go for hundreds. And it's a really cool image of him. And I got this. Uh, this is great. And, you know, if you're a Connor McDavid fan, or I, actually there's a number of players in this set. I don't know what the checklist is, but this is number to 199 from 2019-20. And it's a really cool card. Only 199 of them. You know, his rookie card is just getting out of reach. I do have, uh, I was lucky enough, I went to Toys R Us and they were going out of business and I picked up a box for 19 bucks and I pulled his young guns. So I was fortunate enough to do that. But this is a really cool card and it's still selling, you know, for like 20 bucks. I think I paid 20 bucks for this. It's still a bargain. If you're a Connor McDavid fan, you're looking for uh, you know a rarer, good-looking card of his. You might want to pick one of these up. And added another card to my '86 Fleer basketball set, and that's Daryl Dawkins. He was known for shattering back, back uh, backboards. He was a hard dunker in the earlier days of dunking. It's a beautiful card. So that's what I have for you today. Hey, you know, I, I said uh, I did my Hall of Fame ballot and I said it'll be the most dislikes I ever get. And man, I, I, I don't think um, it wasn't up for a minute. I got my first one, maybe 10 minutes later, got my second one. And, um, you know, in about 12 hours, it became my number one disliked video of all time. <laughs> I just think everybody has to have a little bit of a sense of humor and you know that Hall of Fame thing is what it is you know it's funny because a lot of the people who will go on and rant and and talk horribly about it and horribly about baseball collector Mike uh, will then uh, um, cast ballots and uh, you know it's meant to be a fun thing to recognize some good channels you enjoy you know whoever they are it's your ballad uh, cast a vote. Um, I know it's hard, you, you know, you alienate people sometimes, but, uh, you know, it's uh, generally a nice thing for the hobby and the community, I think. So that's my two cents. Then let's talk about the 1952 Mickey Mantle, the big sale. You know, PSA has graded yeah, close to, I think, over 1,700 of those cards. That thing's not rare. I don't want to be getting it. Hey, once again, thanks for watching.